welcome to Commander Brito Ruski Ski. Hello comrades, welcome back to Commander Brito Ruski Ski. And today we have an achieved a true monumental achievement for communism. Command the co the channel called Commander Brito Ruski Ski has just hit 50 subscribers. Thank you so much everyone, we are spreading communism slowly. Um, most of my viewers are actually from the USA, so it looks like Americans are, you know, turning over to communism. Also for the 3% of people who are watching me that from Russia, I see you comrades. Very good. Anyway, comrades, today we are talking about Bur Bulgaria, which is um, a, a southern Balkan country, and it's, it's pretty big. Bulgaria, it's 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 pretty big by Balkan standards. Obviously, co compared to Russia, for example, it's a pussy hole. The, uh, sorry, Bulgaria, but it's true. No, I'm um, now compared to the, the Kosovo or, or Albania videos where I just talk shit about them. No, comrades, this episode I love Bulgaria. Um, as many of you know, Bulgaria was part of um the Warsaw Pact or the Eastern Bloc, the communist realm, um during the. Um, Cold War, which is which is very amazing, you know. They pick the right side, despite us not winning. They still pick the right side. Um, so I have to, I have to thank Bulgarians for that. Um, also, B Bulgaria, it's it's you know they're very how can, ambitious. That's how I could say it, these comrades. Back in World War One, um, they joined the Axis powers. Well, not the Axis, the Central Powers, um, because they wanted to invade Serbia and expand territory. In 1910. The Second Balkan War. Do you know why it happened? Bulgaria wanted to expand territory. So, I think it's pretty expansive, comrades. Um, just like Russia. They have very similar um, claims to Russia. Um, they fought against um, the Ottoman Empire. They used to be part of the... <laughs> I hate Turkey. The stupid Ottoman Empire. I need to make a video on Turkey. But yes, comrades, um, I, I really don't know how Bulgaria did this. Like, it's it's pretty amazing, though. Um, I, can we give them a round of applause? They did lose the Second Balkan War and World War One, and then they joined World, the Germany in World War Two and lost World War Two. Then they went under the um, Soviet bloc and then the Soviet bloc lost. You know, comrades, uh, Bulgaria hasn't won anything, like, in the last hundred years. So uh, can we just give them a sad, comrades, just one sad? Thank you. So now communism is it, phenomenal, and in Bulgaria it fared really, really well. Unlike Poland, East Germany, Czechoslovakia, <coughs> unlike those countries, Bulgaria was pretty self-ruling, kind of like Roma Romania. Um, so, so it was all right for them. However, however, you know, we wanted more power, obviously. We, we went douche, douche, douche to the, you know, democratic, capitalist governments of um, the past. Now, how has, how has it stayed? Well, Bulgaria has joined NATO and the European Union. I don't like it at all, comrades. Imagine being part of the Soviet bloc and then joining NATO. Imagine that. I still will never forgive my country of Poland for this. That, that's why I rather swear allegiance to Russia than Poland. However, my parents, oh, my parents want to stay, stay allegiance to Poland. It's why I have a Polish flag and not a, a Russian flag. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit emotional, comrades. Anyway, comrades. That, that, anyway, what else is there about, comrade? The people. Well, the people are just your normal Slavic people. The bastards. They drink alcohol. They don't really like each other. The family beats them. Um, yeah, many, many other things like that. Bulgarians... Yeah, that's about it, to be honest, comrades. About the Bulgarian people. They're, they're dickheads, and I don't like them. I've never been to Bulgaria, though, sadly. I know I've been to almost every country in the world, just not Bulgaria. Even though I do respect them quite a bit. I do, I do. I do. That's about it for this video, comrades. Thank you all for watching. Um, We have just reached 50 subscribers. By the end of this year... I'm aiming to hit at least 100, but the, the, the better gore is start to hit 200 subs by the end of 29, by the end of 2020. I don't know what's gonna happen, but anyway, comrades, thank you all for watching, and make sure to let communism strike again. <laughs>